The governor has asked for a federal investigation of the shooting. And within the hour, the Justice Department released a statement saying it's aware of the incident and assessing the situation. Ashley Roberts is at the scene of the shooting on Larpender Avenue. That's in Falcon Heights. Ashley, what is the latest from the scene? Well, Allie, there are many pieces to this puzzle. The investigation being led by the BCA and that video, the victim's girlfriend live streamed on Facebook. The name of that girlfriend is Diamond Reynolds. She began rolling right after the shooting. She posted it all on Facebook Live under the name Lavish Reynolds. He killed my boyfriend. LaVisha Reynolds says her boyfriend, Philando Castile, was carrying a licensed handgun when they were pulled over. And he let the officer know that he was, re he had a firearm. The video shows 32-year-old Castile slumped over in the driver's seat, his shirt bloodied, as a police officer points his weapon at the couple through the window. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand off it. Reynolds says the officer opened fire as Castile was following the officer's instructions. You shot four bullets into him, sir. He was just getting his license and registration, sir. Reynolds, a passenger in the car, and her daughter, who was in the back seat, were not injured. As we wait for authorities to release more information, community members continue to visit the scene along Larpenter Avenue. You can see people sitting on the grass. They've been coming throughout the day, praying and paying their respects. As the memorial is on that side of the road, it's also here as well behind me. You can see people have left balloons, signs, and a lot of flowers here for the victim. And police are telling us that the police officer involved in the shooting this morning has been placed, or I should say the shooting last night, has been placed on paid leave. Ashley, do we know if the police officer was wearing a body camera at the time of the shooting? Ali, I asked the St. Anthony interim police chief that question this morning, but after he made statements, he declined to answer any questions. Ashley, thank you for your reporting throughout the day today. We appreciate it.